This documentary explores how social media affects body image. I want to address this topic because I feel like a lot of people can relate to it and I think body image issues are becoming more common through the influence of social media. I also feel like these issues are often overlooked or just accepted, which can be harmful to the people who struggle with negative body image because they are made to think their feelings are invalid. Social media is used by 4.48 billion people around the world and has been proven to be a major cause of young people's body image issues. 90% of teenagers ages 13 to 17 have used social media, 75% with at least one active profile and 51% of teenagers visit the minimum of one site daily. Social media is a place to chat with friends and express yourself for your interests, but it can also be a place where people get bullied for doing just that. I think we often forget how much media we are exposed to as it has become normal to us and is a big part of our lives, so I thought bringing awareness to negative body image could help the others who feel the same way and prove how much social media really impacts how we see ourselves. Body image is the way we see ourselves and how we believe others see us. These feelings can be positive, negative or both. The most common concerns people have with their appearance is their hair, skin, weight and height. These issues can be triggered by different things such as society's beauty standards, culture, media and the most popular now, social media. The study has been made by the NEDA to show that body image issues are not only caused by how we see ourselves, but by our surroundings too, such as people around you like your family and friends or even your culture may encourage a certain way of looking. These standards can be comparing your body to others online, changing the way you style your hair or changing the way you dress to try and look a certain way. These feelings can make you obsess over the way you look to the point where you are constantly worrying about how you look. Anytime you pass a mirror or window, you may stop and look at yourself and pick out all the things you don't like. Negative body image can make people feel ashamed of their body or even embarrassed. It also causes lack of confidence and makes them feel uncomfortable in their own body. Negative body image causes negative problems such as depression, social anxiety, self-consciousness, shyness or an eating disorder. Negative body image can also cause you to create unhealthy lifestyle habits and behaviours. For example, restrictive eating, dieting or overexercising. It can cause people to completely change their lifestyle just to feel like they fit in and help them feel good about themselves. It takes over people so much that it can make them become obsessed with looking like the idealised body shown in the media. Negative body image can cause people to see their features in a distorted way, for example their nose. This may lead them to want unnecessary procedures such as plastic surgery. An example of how far this obsession can go is Justin Jedlicka, most famously known as the Human Ken doll. Justin had always idolised celebrities and enjoyed reality TV. From a young age, he was exposed to the idea of plastic surgery and body contouring. He even associated it with being wealthy and glamorous and wanted that to be part of his own life. At age 17, Jedlicka started to research what would be his first procedure, which was rhinoplasty. This was influenced by the show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Justin's parents did not approve, so he had to wait until he was old enough to make the choice for himself. So shortly after his 18th birthday, he had his first procedure to reconstruct his nose. By 2012, Justin had undergone 190 cosmetic procedures on all parts of his body. Research has shown that both genders do experience similar thoughts and feelings when struggling with body image issues, but studies do show that males are affected a little less than females. The similarities of the gender's issues are wanting to have the ideal body type, which for men is being turned and having a muscular body. For women, it's having an hourglass body shape, being slim, as well as looking young and flawless. Nearly a quarter of the world uses Facebook, Instagram has 1 billion active monthly users and YouTube has 2.1 billion users and 122 million people active daily who consume more than a billion hours of content. So many people use social media every day as a way to socialise with family and friends, post about their day and interests, relax or just be nosy. But aside from the fun part, social media is filled with advertisement and often forces ideal ways of looking onto us without even realising. When using social media, you are constantly exposed to all types of bodies, but mostly the ideal body types are the ones that get to the top of your feed. You'll find celebrities you follow posing in exotic places or giving you updates on what they are eating and what time they went to the gym in their sponsored clothing. Social media is like a digital diary so people can look back on it and share their good memories. Although this is a good thing, it can make others viewing the post maybe question if their life should be a bit more exciting or if they should dress or eat better. 
seeing these types of posts every day could pressure the follower to change their body or lifestyle so they can be similar to the celebrities and influencers they see every day. Research has shown that 88% of women and 65% of men compare themselves to images they have seen on social media. This is a problem because it can lead to the mental and physical health issues such as eating disorders, low self-esteem, body dysmorphia and more. Research has shown that the more time you spend on social media, the more likely you are to feel bad about yourself. Social media is filled with images of people at their best, so it can be difficult to avoid these feelings. The followers start to create unrealistic ideas of themselves and start to change their lifestyle to achieve the goal, but they become angry when they can't reach it. I have struggled with my body. Yeah, I just, I feel sometimes really insecure in my own skin about it. My legs, for instance, there's that whole entire like trend in the media about the thigh gap. Like I don't have that, like that makes me not normal, that makes me not beautiful. I think I've gotten to the point where I accept that. I don't know, I still kind of struggle with that. I have this friend who's like super skinny and like, cause she's always dancing. And I feel like, I wish that like, my mom says I'm skinny or something, but not all the time that makes you really think that you're actually skinny because it's from your mom or your dad. And they just tell you the best things about you. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. And so I wear black leggings because I feel they make me look small or skinny. People used to call me fat all the time and it would really bring me down. Especially within my friend group at school, all the girls are so skinny, like it's crazy. I don't like think I'm large or anything like that, but I'm definitely not as skinny as all my friends. Yes, I care about how I look. It's not a massive thing to, to me, but yeah, I do care. Because uh, people can judge you. Society tends to value one type of body for boys, and it's broad shoulders, muscular chest, big biceps, and a six pack. Yeah, I'd say that is an ideal way of looking, yeah, in my eyes at least, yeah. Yeah, I think most guys, like, want a six pack. Abs pecs and just big biceps. The world we live in today, there's so much going on, it definitely affects how we see our appearance. There's just this sort of like um, person in everyone's head that's like, you know, that perfect person. It can make us think, look, if I don't have the perfect body, if I'm not muscular enough or tall enough or I'm not skinny enough, that I'm not worthy. It feels like it. I don't know, most people judge people nowadays, so it sort of gets into your head. The way that I was thinking was quite consistent with the pressures that society puts on everyone. Now there's so much social media, you just want to look the best you can. Like every second guy you see now just has this good body. Go to the gym, go to the gym, go to the gym, go to the gym, and you'll achieve. It was just this constant, you don't look good enough, you don't fit in, you're fat, you're ugly, you're worthless, you're disgusting. It was very difficult to make the connection that what I was doing was wrong. Because of the hundreds of boys that I've seen who've had appearance problems for all different sorts of reasons, the number one thing they all have to say is that I wish I'd spoken to someone sooner. I do, but not like a lot. Yeah. Probably, probably too much. Um, like, probably like three hours a day. That's probably way too much. At least two hours, maybe. Too much. Like, I probably use it from the moment I get home to the moment I go to sleep. Instagram because I have loads of like online friends on there, so I like to talk to them, and that's mainly what I do with most of my day. Uh, probably Instagram. Snapchat. I just send message to my friends that I wish I had. It has, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it has. Um, 
most of the time, yeah. Yeah, I do. Only Ryan Reynolds would be sent off and cut their names. Yeah. I wanted to, but I don't think I ever actually have changed. I've tried. Um, I know, like, the surface of it, like, it's bad on people, it influences a lot of people badly, and it's just not very good for everyone, really. I know, like, a, a bit, because I know loads. It's the way someone views that one and others, like, bodies. Um, I wouldn't say I know a lot about body image, just like the basics of like what it is and how it can affect people and the sort of impact it has and how people might want to change because of it. I'm starting to see more and more influencers and celebrities address this topic and it is really helping some people recover and overcome their body image issues, as well as educating people. Obviously, advertisement will never end and there is a low chance social media will too. So if we change the way products and clothing are advertised for the better by using models of all sizes to really show people what they are buying and how it will look on them, not how they want it to look on them. We could also change the way people see dieting because most people take on these crazy diets which harm their bodies in the long run to specifically lose weight. They should be encouraging people to diet so their bodies can be healthy physically and mentally. Just, just be yourself, everyone is beautiful in their own. Be yourself and don't really let anyone influence you to be anyone different. Only really to just uh, be yourself and don't feel pressured by how other people look because most of the time other people like edit photos to change how they look on there anyway so it's not they don't actually look like that so don't feel pressured by people on social media to change. Uh,